Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Retro Pop Planet. I just got finished watching the CGI anime series Blade Runner Black Lotus on HBO. Now I didn't hear that many people talking about it, so I don't know if it wasn't a very successful franchise, but I thought it was a really cool rendition of the Blade Runner universe. And I really like the character Elle as a heroine of the story, and I thought she was a badass. So there's a couple new Final Faction figures. It's like the second or third wave that have been released recently at the Dollar Tree. And I saw a couple that I thought I could customize into L. So let's get into it. So I picked up a couple figures, two shifts, because, well, she looks like L right out of the packaging. But I wanted to recreate her streetwear look from the early episodes and this new Amari action figure has a really great outfit and her stature is a lot larger. A subscriber asked me once in the comments what do I do when the figures don't quite align. Well these clearly do not. For one, Shift's head is much smaller than Amari's body and the answer to the question is well <laughs> uh, not much uh, as you'll see i figure with all that's going to be going on with the neckline uh it would be the least noticeable and you'll see we'll get there in the end for now though i'm just trimming around the edges because shift's neck post is a little too large for amari's neck insert and the head sits weird atop the shoulders i can't tell you how many takes this took to align the figures so that i could screw them back together it doesn't help either that she has a huge ass. Now that assembly is done, I'm taking them both outside to prime using this flat gray primer. If you watch the show, then you'll recognize these reference photos that I took for her outfit and her accessories. Amari's coat is crop cut, so I know I'm going to have to sort out the length, but also add a hood. Air dry clay is going to be the perfect solution. Before I do any of that though, I'm going to paint her hair, shirt, and skin tones. You could use any cheap acrylic paints for this, but I just really like my Citadel paints from Games Workshop. They are specifically formulated for painting miniatures. This figure mold is really great because she's already wearing jorts, and I'm going to attempt to recreate the look of Elle's ripped maroon tights. She goes through a lot during the series attempting to figure out who and what she is so her outfit gets really ripped and dirty i'm aiming for somewhere in the middle of the series with this look before i break open the air dry clay i'm going to give her a coat and initial pass just to see what the color i picked looks like i had a really hard time identifying a color and ended up using this vallejo which i picked up from a local craft store i was pretty satisfied with that so let's get to sculpting At first it looks like a dress, but in the show, Elle's coat is definitely form-fitting, and once I add some of these lines in continuation from Amari's coat, it's really going to blend in well. I let it dry for about 24 hours, and now it's ready for painting. I really had a lot of fun planning out all the little embellishments and the many details to this coat, and especially these jorts. The high top socks were a little bit more of a challenge because uh, in this figure, they are actually part of Amari's boots, but there's a bit of a divot and a definite line of deviation where I thought I could fake it. And in the long run, they came out pretty well, but they were a challenge to paint. And the boots make for definitely a visually interesting contrast. And now that the bulk painting is done, I can work out some of these accessories. In the show, Elle's hair is clasped, but this shift figure, it's very loose. And I'm just trying to equivocate a little bit to, to kind of look like the show and add some of these little hair braids and, and doodads and things like that. But it's not going to be completely accurate to the TV show hair. And I'm using these Sharpie markers, the red and blue, to give her her sock stripes. And another tiny but fun task was recreating Elle's patches, the ones that she wears on her coat. 
You'll have to take my word for it, but I did paint her sword and I included some requisite blood. However, the sword is so small and my camera just did not want to focus on it whatsoever. She also has a fortune kitty hanging on like a piece of thread on the end of the hilt. And I decided to recreate that using a little bit of string and a dab of PA glue. Okay guys, welcome back. What do you think of that project? I thought it was pretty cool, but this one was actually my easiest custom uh, that I've done with these Final Faction figures. And frankly, I was looking for an easy project. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you're working on. If you have any cool Final Faction customs here on YouTube that you'd like me to see, I'd be happy to check out your links. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I've done a bunch of these so far on the channel and I'll just keep pumping them out as long as the people that make Final Faction keep pumping them out also. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.